G'day, g'day. How are we going? Happy weekend. <laughs> I'm um, recording a video from home today. Um, just out the backyard. I don't have a great deal of space and we're getting the young bloke a little play gym equipment thing. And I've got an orange tree out there that I'm hoping to transplant. It's not the best time um, <laughs> leading into winter. But if it survives, it survives. It's pretty um, a hardy little bloody thing. So if not, the nursery's down the up the road and I'll just plant one out the front here. You're gonna see uh, in the video either before or after this. I just don't know how I wanna edit things sometimes, but um, it'll come out, you'll see it all. Uh, it's pretty much just getting rid of an old pine tree that I typically don't like the look of anyway. And they just get a bit messy and the birds, um, when it's seeding and things like that, they bring the noisy miners mainly. <laughs> as much as you want to invite the native birds, they're the ones, um, very, very annoying, very loud birds they are, squawking away. And it's right outside our, our bedroom window, so. Um, they've got another little bottle brush that comes out and flower they come to every now and again, and that's about it on my little block. I don't have a great deal that I can uh, plant, but that'll come down the track, and I'll have plenty of uh, bird life and, and nature getting around, so don't, don't stress. Um, I wanted to compare a few things today, but um, it was mainly like these new uh, Isotunes Pro 2.0, I think is what this version is. I've never had them before, and um, my brother was using them when he was with me, and he seemed to enjoy them, so I thought I'd give them a go. I think mainly I'll use them for the large acreage properties that I'm on, and you just got to mow for sort of three to four hours at a time, because um, I find myself just singing away anyway, um, so I may as well have someone better singing in, in my ears, so um, yeah, that, that's the main reason I've got them. And uh, the new chainsaw you would have seen in action, the little chainsaw from Husqvarna there, the multi tool, that goes all right, goes good. Um, it's just needs a. I'm going to get heaps of chains. They're all down here, ready to go. Uh, let's see if I can show you. <laughs> now, that's another thing I wanted to discuss. I'm just on the way now to the shop because my hourly rate, knowing what that is, compared to what they can sharpen these things for, I think why wouldn't I just send it up to them there? It's like 15 bucks a chain. I think I've got six or seven there. But for me to stand there, sit there, I'm just gonna reverse this trailer out while I'm talking. Just gotta listen for cars. But uh, yeah, instead of me standing there for hours on end sharpening, I'd rather pay my local dealer Give him some money. I just got to be quick here. All sorted. Very noisy. Don't realise how long that trailer is sometimes. Anyway, that's just what today's video is about, guys. So uh, a bit more relaxed, a bit more chill type of a day, obviously my day off but um, wait for the fam to get back from um, their little visit down the central coast so it'll be good to see them again the little ones probably three days since I've seen them and it's amazing how quickly they grow in that three days so it's always um, makes the heart grow fonder I guess is what you want to get uh, the message across there but anyway I've um, got plenty on next week the regular lawn clients just keep on coming in which is great because I'm able to take on more now with this bigger zero turn I can fit more in every day so all in all it's going really well the bloke I've got working with me is doing a great job um, showing a lot of interest and he's very keen and he's um, looking like it's going to be full time this spring which is awesome I can't wait for all that to uh, eventuate and we keep going and growing and he can keep doing his, his thing as well and I can help him get a house and um, better his position as well as quick as we possibly can I'll um, get more into that side of things when you start bringing on um, other workers and how you got to work it into your actual uh, business model but again it's all based on what I do it's not it's not a be-all end-all situation or you have to take what I say as gospel it's just what has worked for me and what, what I want to do because a lot of people that I follow, they're, they're happy to work 12 hour days and things like that and they're all about just go, go, go and get the money. And it's good getting a lot of money, um, especially doing what you love, but at the same time, 
I have a family life and I want to get back to them because a lot of these people I follow don't have kids um, and they're happy to just go and go because their partner's working as well and I remember what that was like, it's, it's easy to do. The priorities changed pretty quickly for me once I had the young bloke um, a few years back and, and that was the biggest reason I made this move and, and I'm doing what I'm doing now. So I'm just nearly at the dealer guys so thank you very much for watching this video. Um, we're going through now to the, the footage. I'll show you how I'm transplanting. And another thing, another little tip I've been watching, Keith Kalfas. He's um, got a little thing showing the reciprocating saw. He calls it a saw saw. So I don't know what Americans call it, but it's a recipro saw. And he uses it to cut around the base of a plant that he's going to chop out. And I'm going to give it a go today. I've got a water meter right nearby and I don't want to go too deep with a shovel or with um, hacking at it because I want to actually get a good chunk of it out so then the um, transplant of the orange tree is just pretty much going in the old hole um, and obviously if you got that blade you're going to hear the uh, noise of metal over um, a, a root or a tree root and things like that so it's kind of something I'm interested in trying and I'd rather do it at my own house where I can fix my own water meter if I need to um, it's not that you're going to come across that on every job, but you've got to be wary. You don't know exactly what's too deep, but the blade's only sort of this this long, that long, if you can see that. Um, six inches, eight inches, and yeah, it shouldn't go too deep, shouldn't get anywhere near the pipes. If they've got them that shallow, then we're in trouble, but <laughs> we'll, um, we'll have a go at that and see how it works. Hopefully the roots just t cuts around, and then it, it was just popping out for him real easy. So we'll give it a go, and thanks again, guys. I've had enough rambling today. And I'll talk to you all next week. Cheers. Bye. Alright guys, I'm just leaving the uh, local tip, got all the green waste dropped off, I uh, looked at the time, had to get going obviously for that um, the chains to be sharpened because 12 o'clock that shop, the Husqvarna shop up here shuts on a Saturday so they're not open tomorrow and I didn't really want to worry about it next week so long story short, if I can do that, it's um, just all there ready to go so when they're good to pick up I'll just pick them up next week whenever it's convenient for me and it, it just works out better that way sort of what I discussed earlier in this video um, I want to leave you with the final thoughts uh, I, I have um, with the methods that I use for removing actual shrubs and trees and things like that because we did a big job yesterday and it went to plan everything went smoothly um, it's always good when that happens and you just got to take a win when you get it. It's just, I think we had them down in three hours and I allowed sort of six um, with two of us. So for the client, I was able to get a lot more work done. Uh, we were able to get a lot more work done, I should say. Um, and they were very happy. Uh, just the little things. We had an acreage to do in the afternoon and that was about it for that day. So regardless, we're going to get paid the same amount. Um, because I already priced that job, but just out of good faith and goodwill, there's three other big projects, three, I do that a lot, three, three other big uh, projects for this particular client, uh, including a deck restoration, um, like pebble install, and a screen to build. So when there's other jobs too, and when they're a regular client, um, definitely I'd recommend you, you go above and beyond it, like with everyone, at least for that first visit, and then if they get you back, they get you back. But you don't want to go overboard and then undercut yourself and they're only going to be a once-off job. If they're going to be a next, like they're going to have other projects or there's a potential that could be a regular lawn client or anything like that, that's when uh, it pays dividends. You might lose a little bit of money on that initial time you do it, but you're not really losing any money because we're ahead of ourselves, you know, we're ahead of schedule. So you just got to look at it, weigh it up. You do what you want in your business, but for me, um, Word of mouth speaks volumes and it just, the business is growing and growing. And to be honest, I'm gonna have to look at getting other workers uh, in the future. 
if it wants to keep growing, otherwise we're just going to have to plateau and then sit at what we got to sit at, you know. Um, but yeah, just take note of the, the method in which I cut these trees down and the way I did it at my place. Uh, I just take the limbs off. It's just what I do. I'm not a tree lopper by any means, but as far as removing it, make it easy on yourself. You can cut it down in one go and then cut it up and section it off. But I just prefer while it's standing there, just let it all fall. It cascades down nice like it did and then just drag it all the way. Um, and then same deal yesterday. That's what we did. You get rid of the limbs, get down to that little base, cut that off, and then you can either poison the stump, get a stump grinder in, or what I'm going to do is remove it, hopefully, without busting my water meter, and then plant the uh, orange tree. And again, like you got to be careful. Um, I know I'm not going to be here forever, and then you don't want to make it harder for the next person by planting something. If it was near sewer or something like that, I wouldn't plant it so close, but being near a meter, um, the roots and things, unless you're going to have a leak, the roots aren't really going to um, break the pipe as such. They're going to look for some other means to get to it. Uh, and if it does, it, it's right there. You can you can still fix it. It's in the open there. So you just got to weigh it up. If it's in a real tight spot and things like that, just, just be aware of what you're doing when you're planting things and when people ask you to and how close you're getting to things, like fence lines. And, um, yeah, seeing everyone today, everyone this morning, giving them a wave. <laughs> anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. That's all I need to talk about. I'm a couple of minutes from home here. It's the beauty of living in a small town. Yeah, everything's within QE of one another, you know, just right there, easy access. As much as it's old school and things shut early on a Saturday, I still enjoy that old school vibe. So it's, um, especially now that I don't have to work Saturdays, I just do my own thing at home. And, um, yeah, you actually, you really appreciate them, them moments that you get now at home that you never had before. So enough of me pouring my heart out. <laughs> let's, let's get on with this. Uh, I'll get some more footage of this orange tree removal. Hopefully transplanting it in. If all goes to plan, I'll get this Recipro saw footage. Happy days. Like, subscribe, and uh, talk to you all guys next week. Catch us. Bye.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 